We are back with a new edition of the Science of It, where we get to test out experiments with the Orlando Science Center. This week, Adrian Whitsett is stretching his STEM skills while catapulting paint. Welcome back to the Science of It here on West News Sunrise. We are back at the Orlando Science Center with our friend Tori. And this morning, we're going to make something that's really going to challenge those young brains. Some of the stuff we may have at home, but you... You also may need to be prepared for this one. Yeah, so today we're uh, talking about catapult. So it's a really fun STEM challenge that you can do at home with some uh, pretty easy supplies. So the easiest way you can make a little at-home catapult is using popsicle sticks, rubber bands, a bottle cap, or some kind of cap to kind of hold what you're catapulting. And then I like to use something like a marker or a rounded pencil as a pivot point. Mm -hmm. But again, you can try at home to use... Uh, Using, use these materials and make it however you'd like to try, and right. you can um, try to make the arm bigger or smaller and see what different results you get. Right, see how far it goes. Yeah, exactly. So we have another version that we use here in Kidstown that is made out of paint sticks because they're just slightly larger and mm -hmm. um, a marker like I was speaking about earlier, and we kind of experimented with that and came up with these fun catapults that we use for catapult painting. Awesome. So I'm going to let you go ahead and try it out when okay. you have these fun koosh balls that hold the paint really well. And you can go ahead and drop it, it in the paint and swirl here. it around. Just do whatever. Whatever you'd like let's to just, do. Let's try that. I think, I don't that, know what that color looks that good. is. Oh. Uh, whatever you think. There we go. <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, so go ahead and drop it in there and uh, experiment with pulling that catapult back. Oh, oh that one wasn't so not good. Not good. <laughs> you no, no, should I pick this one up? No, you can just use another one. Maybe a little less paint. Less. So we kind of have to figure it out a little. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See, it's a challenge. For everyone. Yeah, so you pull it back and kind of have that parabola to get it onto the board. There we go. A little bit better. Yeah, I drew some targets for you. We're, so. we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting Let's there. Let's try it with the red. Maybe we'll have better luck. Here, I'm going to try and get some of the paint off. Let's see if that Yeah, and will you can help. try to pull it back as much as possible. Again, you can secure it there down there. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, we're struggling with this, but we're going to get it. You're going to get it. We're going to get it. Yeah, so when we're doing this activity with kiddos, we do uh, different experiments uh, going forward and backward to see if we can um, get the paint higher or lower on the board. So feel free to try either. Say, maybe maybe I you need a little bit of forward. <laughs> there there we, go. we go. Okay. All right. See, that was part of the <laughs> issue. Okay, let's try. Let's go back to this and just a little bit of paint. Let's see if we can do. All there you go. Yeah, moving here. forward definitely helped. And uh, if you see on the board too, you're mixing some colors here. Yeah, so we're using our I like motor it. Skills I'm going to go for colors. the bigger target because right. I feel like I have a better shot at that. I have more paint on my fingers there right now. There you go. Yay! You did it. Good job. Look at that. <laughs> um, this is a lot of fun. So what you're explaining sort of, as you said, the parabola, you're explaining how something can make it from here, it goes in the arc over to the board. Yeah, and we talk about um, if they can make their arcs bigger or smaller to kind of uh, test their range on the board. Um, and they uh, generally have a lot of fun just experimenting with it and seeing where all their different paint spots land. Right. I feel like I would have been that kid who got really frustrated with this maybe and just put a bunch of paint on the cooch oh, and tried. Oh, that's definitely happened. And tried to throw it at the wall. <laughs> that's just me. Um, what should parents just be looking out for uh, in, in this as they're trying to make this or help guide their children through this experience? Yeah, so um, when you're doing it at home, just try so many different variables because that really helps them with their learning and the experiment design process and um, just trying different ways of doing it is like the, the most fun they can have and different ways to do it. And we actually have a bigger way to do this activity that um, we have a creation called the Splatapult that was made by our fabrication team, but we cannot do it in here. We have to do it outside. Right, let's go check it out. All right. Okay. We get to finally see it. Yeah, so here's our awesome Splatapult. <laughs> We're outside. It's already got some paint and some balls ready to get launched with our Splatapult here. Much larger than what we were working Much with inside. Much larger. Yeah. All right, so you're going to kind of roll the paint uh, balls in, like the paint, just a in little bit. Okay. And then we're going to load it into the launcher here. You're going to not put your foot right up there, and then you're going to pull it back and aim towards our friend Spencer there. Aim in for Spencer. So, same premise that yep. we had before. It's a little bit messier. <laughs> a lot bit messier, <laughs> but we'll take that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spencer's <we're> doing great. <laughs> bullseyes left and right we have so a great yeah, it's, assistant. <laughs> it's interesting here with the splatapult you have to really adjust oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to figure out 
like yeah, you have that. to figure you out. You have to figure out exactly how how far it is. It's much different. It was easier when you just had the wall. Yeah, we were much closer before, so we kind of have to figure out the parabola and how far we have to pull it back. Yeah! <laughs> Super bullseye. This is a lot of fun. So when you're doing this with the kids, I imagine it gets even messier than what we're doing right now. Yeah, it's very exciting for them. And we talk about, you know, the force that comes behind these bungee cords whenever they pull them back. And we just let them kind of go crazy with this flat of pole here. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to see how it can go. The exact same science principles on the very small little catapult so and then bring big. it here to the much larger splatter pole. It's awesome. Yeah, we have a lot of fun doing it. And again, we, we do this at some of our events, but we, we're, you know, we're open again and we're really looking forward to doing more of these activities with everybody in a safe way. Absolutely. Tori, thank you. Spencer, thank you for playing along. <laughs> thank you for joining us. This, this is the science of it. That's very cool. If you want to see what other cool stuff is happening at the Orlando Science Center, it's open Thursday through Tuesday. It's closed on Wednesdays for deep cleaning. I don't know, Kellyanne, I think we could do pretty well as long as the target was still moving, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think I would do pretty good, uh, but it's already bringing back some of the terminology that I talked about in college. So maybe not the first couple of times, <laughs> but I think after a few times I could probably do it. Uh, in terms of our... <laughs>